for 2024, if you're a Torchwood fan who loves historicals and Yanto Jones, you are eating really well this year. After the Yanto Jones trilogy and also the Torchwood Soho release as well, which is set in the 1960s. We also have the Restoration of Catherine monthly adventure as well. But now we also have Torchwood Art Decadence, which is set in the 1920s. This is written by Ash Darby. And, and as you can see from the cover here, we've got the Mara involved as well. This does not involve any of the main Torchwood team who we have grown accustomed to in these releases. Instead, we're in the 1920s and we have Sir Reginald Delafield, played by Wolf Scolding, who is a member of Torchwood, and also we have his butler, his valet, A.C. Forster, played by Simon Kane, and they're trying to investigate this strange serpent club that has recently opened up in London. It's this new socialite gentleman's club that's opened up, and the people who go in there apparently do not come out the same. Let's listen to a clip from Torchwood Art Decadence. Oh, that suit's coming on marvellously. Oh, thank you, sir. I have become something of an expert at lifting blood stains from tweed, especially alien ones. This suit will be pressed in just a moment. Wonderful. I'll need it for the club. The Sloanes, sir? Well, actually, no. Tonight I thought I'd try the Serpentine Club. I believe you mentioned it before. Did I? Well, high time we did. Favourite haunt among the worst of the bright young things. Oh. No one who goes comes back quite the same, apparently. Probably just servants tittle-tattle, but the stories are mounting up. There's something in that club. Drugs? Probably drugs. A sniff of Satan's snuff. A jab or two of poppy go lightly, but we'll see. Well, it does sound worth investigating. Your suit, sir. Yeah. Ah, oh, lovely work, Forster. I don't know what I'd do without you. You're too kind, sir. The collar. Ah, thank you. And your wrist watch. Now, shall I bring the car round and then we can investigate these mysterious goings on at the Serpentine Club? Oh, uh, no need. Peter and I are going. Jenks, sir. Ah, and that's him. Uh, don't wait up. Toodaloo! Yes, sir. Sorry, I was just really enjoying the music there. So, so you've got Reginald and Forster. And what's a fun dynamic, like in the first like couple of minutes, you get the sense of how this Torchwood branch operates here, where you've got Sir Reggie with the class, with the money, with the gumption. But Forster, his butler, his valet, essentially does all of the work. He does all of the heavy lifting. He does all of the grunt work. He does all of the important stuff in order to save the world and keep the world safe from aliens in the 1920s. And also you've got um, Timothy Bloor, who plays Peter Jenks, who was referenced in that clip, who is essentially uh, Reginald's new new um, best friend shall we say um, however what happens is that they go to the serpentine club and then they come back peter is terrified of the things he's seen in there but reginald is acting significantly different but what's fun though is that i thought going into this that art decadence would just be okay you've got these agents of torture in the 1920s who have to infiltrate the club and then learn more about it and then bring it down there's probably going to be a big explosion by the end there is indeed a big explosion by the end of Art of Decadence, but it takes a much more interesting approach where we establish this skewed dynamic of this Torchwood branch in the 1920s pretty effectively and concisely in the first five to ten minutes. And then Reggie comes back from the Serpentine Club being possessed by the Mara. And then you essentially have this strange ethical back and forth for the rest of the story between Reggie and Forster, where Forster knows that something's wrong. And the Mara plays its hand incredibly early on. And it takes a much more interesting character-driven dynamic. What I thought would just be a slam-bam infiltration story from Torchwood in the 1920s end up becoming a much more interesting and fascinating character piece about the kind of subtext that was already inherent in Snake Dance and also Kinder to an extent. Because those stories in the 1980s with the Fifth Doctor's tenure in season 19 and season 20... They were drawing on Buddhist inspiration, and also there's the subtext and the metaphor of colonialism. But I think what Art Decadence is more focused in, in on is the idea of like sexuality and how the Mara is trying to like coax out uh, these impulses in people and is able to essentially manipulate uh, Forster and manipulate him against his own best interest because you know, his heart and his head are in conflict with each other because even though he's treated really badly by Reggie, 
he still cares for his his master deep down he still cares for essentially his best and only friend he has a really methodical way of expressing himself and he's so dignified and stoic but he clearly has his limits and his own his own insecurities he served in world war one this is a 1920 story and he is terrified of the world going into further conflict and maybe he thinks that the mara would be able to help with that it would be able to stop humanity from delving into another worldwide conflict but also the idea that these two still go on torchwood missions together even though reggie is not himself anymore he's being possessed or infiltrated with his soul by the mara it really leans into the idea of like repression and the idea of like not accepting yourself because of a, a supposedly a taboo subject this is london in the 1920s where homosexuality is of course frowned upon and is of course illegal and things like that and the mara is exploiting that insecurity and also the the inferiority complex that that surely must bring about where society looks down on you and criminalizes your natural behavior that must surely bring some sort of like inferiority complex or some sort of like massive internal conflicts within yourself as the world is telling you that you're not natural and normal it's really really interesting to see ash darby and the team over at big finishes torchwood monthly range really dive into that like very minimal subtext from the 1980s but you know it was it was still kind of there in a like to a, a a small extent but really bringing that to the forefront in art and decadence i think it was a really fascinating two-hander i think that simon kane and wolf scolding are terrific together but of course the lead here like simon kane he's like such a interesting leading man such an interesting character who yeah the ending of art decadence is really bittersweet and really thoughtful and sad but i want to i want to hear more of these characters i want to see what they do next together like it's a really it's a really great and clever ending but i it kind of feels like it should stay that way you know i i don't want to see it ruined or milked in future stories but i i do want more of these characters so whether or not we get like an art uh, decadence prequel or another story that has uh, that has our butler main character but maybe separate from the mara maybe separate from reggie but carving his own path doing something else i don't know but e either way i I just, I just know i want more of these characters there it, it's such a great dynamic this was really effective i've not watched kinder or snake dance for quite a while so maybe i could be missing some more details i could be missing some more interesting like subtext or metaphor here from those 1980s stories but just as a story on its own removed from the lineage of those stories from the 1980s this was a really fascinating character piece a really great two-hander about like repression how a culture that represses people like that how does that impact somebody internally and how can that manifest externally and how a creature like the mara can really like tap into that R really fascinating so thoughtful i really like this 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 was surprisingly strong just a really great like hour of adult fantasy sci-fi drama really strong stuff it's firmly standalone because you know th these are original characters for, as far as i'm aware original characters in the torchwood range um but it kind of maybe should exist as just this really interesting single chapter yeah i i don't know if there's a right or wrong answer to this story's legacy but yeah as like an hour of drama this was so fascinating i love this i really love this